For the manual weather station, screen psychrometer is used to measure the dew point temperature and the relative humidity. Uh, saturation vapor pressure plus existing vapor pressure. Serene psychrometer is made up two regular thermometer put in side by side. The right hand one is the regular thermometer uh, which measures dry bulb temperature or also the air temperature. Dry bulb temperature is the air temperature. The left uh, uh, thermometer, the tip of the mercury part, is wrapped with a wet cloth in distilled water. So the water molecule evaporates into the water vapor in the air, taking the latent heat away, so temperature drops. So wet bulb temperature normally is lower than the air temperature or dry bulb temperature unless the relative humidity of the air is 100%, the air is already saturated. There's no uh, evaporation from wet bulb, uh, wet cloth. So in that case, dry bulb temperature equals air uh, wet bulb temperature. We give an example, dry bulb temperature 24 degree, wet bulb temperature 20 degree. So the difference between dry bulb and wet bulb temperature is 4 degree. Then we look at this uh, dew point temperature table. Uh, wet bulb depression range from 1 to 18 degree. And the first column shows the dry bulb temperature. Our uh, dry bulb temperature is 24 degree. And uh, our wet bulb depression is 4 degree. So we draw a straight line down to meet the horizontal line of 24 degrees Celsius. The intersection gives us a number. The number is 18 degrees Celsius. 18 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the dew point temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. This one, we know the air temperature. Dry bulb temperature is 24 degrees. Celsius, we know dew point temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Now we want to find out what is the uh, saturation vapor pressure, uh, existing vapor pressure, and relative humidity. To find out the answer, we look at the first column. It says dry bulb temperature. Actually, it can be uh, dew point temperature. It can be the wet bulb temperature. Our dew point temperature is 18 degree. That shows the saturation vapor pressure is 20.630 uh, minibar. And uh, air temperature is 24. That shows the saturation vapor pressure is 29.831 minibar. What does it mean? It means the air can contain at most 29.831 minibar, but the air actually has 20.63 minibar. So we call this is the existing uh, vapor pressure. This is determined by dew point, 18 degrees Celsius. And the uh, saturation vapor pressure is determined by the air temperature, 24 degrees Celsius. So we can calculate the relative humidity as the existing vapor pressure divided by the saturation vapor pressure, 20.630 divided by 29.831. That's approximately 69%. So we have a relative humidity 69%. And if we want to find out existing vapor pressure, simply use the saturation <clears throat> vapor pressure multiplied by relative humidity. That will give you the answer. Here I draw the conclusion. Dry bulb temperature actually 
is the air temperature. This determines the saturation vapor pressure at a given uh, air temperature. Wet bulb temperature is evaporation from the wet cloth adds water vapor into the air and uh, vapor pressure into the air. Increasing the vapor pressure above the existing vapor pressure in the air. Dew point temperature is the existing vapor pressure. Uh, the air actually contains how much water vapor. Air temperature cools the dew point temperature to reach the saturation. At that point, air temperature equals dew point temperature. Then the existing vapor pressure equals saturation vapor pressure. Saturation, uh, saturated atmosphere, relative humidity, 100 percent. Air temperature or dry bulb temperature equal dew point temperature and also equal wet bulb temperature. Unsaturated atmosphere, relative humidity, lower than 100 percent. Air temperature larger than the dew point temperature, uh, wet bulb temperature, excuse me, larger than the wet bulb temperature which is larger than the dew point temperature. So if air is not saturated, these three temperatures are not equal. Air temperature, air saturation vapor pressure larger than wet bulb saturation vapor pressure or air existing vapor pressure. Air temperature of dry bulb temperature determines the saturation vapor pressure. Dew point temperature determines the existing vapor pressure. Here shows five cities with the different air temperature and the dew point temperature in degrees Celsius. Uh, look at these uh, five cities. We find the highest relative humidity is uh, at the city D. Why? Although the air temperature is lowest, dew point temperature is lowest but air temperature equals dew point temperature. That means uh, relative humidity is 100%. So in terms of relative humidity, city D has the highest uh, relative humidity. Highest uh, saturation vapor pressure. Saturation vapor pressure is determined by air temperature. So look at the highest air temperature, 35 degrees Celsius. So highest uh, saturation vapor pressure is at the city A. And the highest existing vapor pressure. Existing vapor pressure is determined by the dew point. So the highest dew point is 27 degrees Celsius for the city B. So highest existing vapor pressure is at city B because it has a highest dew point temperature.